Okay? You also have buildings that you purchase. So realistically, I just talked about land in, on a closing statement. Sometimes companies just buy land, but very frequently companies also buy land with building on it. And like I said, we're going to be talking a little bit later about um, the allocation between land and building. But right now, also, I just want to kind of mention, so a building, any warehouse, any office building, you know, any structure um, that is not, that's sitting on land is a building. Okay, so similarly to the way you would record land, you have to record the purchase price, any fees, commissions, any costs that go into, uh, you know, uh, getting that building ready for use. The same idea, okay, would be incorporated into the cost of the building. And I feel like a lot of this is really quite logical, okay. Um, you're going to put reasonable costs, and we're going to talk about, again, some costs are repairs, and are not going to go necessarily into the, co the cost of that asset. They will ultimately be expensed. But anything that's getting that, that asset ready for use, anything that's going to extend the life of that asset, is going to be considered part of the cost of that asset. Okay? So take a look again now. We're going to look at uh, exercise 10-2, E-10-2, exercise 10-2. Exercise 10-2 is going to take us through the allocation of cost between land and building. So when you allocate between land and building, these are, this is how you split the costs up. So I'll just kind of, I'm going to put this up and then I'm going to point to some things that I, um, that I think are very important. And then if you have any specific questions, I'd be happy to address those. So um, as I said, the cost of your property includes anything that's on that closing statement. Okay? So things on that closing statement, legal fees, um, Title insurance, you're always going to see these, these items. Title insurance is something that is insurance that you purchase for a closing, okay? It's the idea is that you're buying something, do you have clean title, right? So you have to buy title insurance. This all goes along with the, with the purchase of a property, okay? So all these kinds of items, it, it's at the property level, so it's allocated to land. Now, a couple of people asked a really great question about liability insurance. It says liability insurance during construction. So normally... Insurance, is insurance capitalized normally? I should ask you that. No, you have an insurance expense account. The only time you have it as like an asset is really when it's prepaid and then you expense it as you use it up. So we're going to be getting into this very shortly and I think this is probably, like I said, one of the most important pieces of this chapter is the concept of, of capitalizing interest and capitalizing cost during construction. Okay? So what happens is the FASB takes this position that if you have, if you buy a property and you take out a loan to fix that property up to get it ready for use, then the interest that you incur on that loan is capitalized as part of the cost of that asset during the construction period. Okay? So for example, when I worked out west in that, at this movie studio, this was a prop, this was a big project. It was actually an old, um, it was an old Boeing NASA facility. It had gigantic warehouses on it. There were like replicas of space shuttles built here. And it was a wonderful space to film movies because it was so big. So um, the problem was is that in the state that it was in, it wasn't really necessarily usable as a movie studio. So we had a loan, a large loan that we took out. And there were different buildings. And some of the buildings were placed in service. And some of the buildings weren't. So we had to figure out what portion of the loan related to that, the buildings that were not yet placed in service, okay, because they were not usable as a movie studio. They were not, they were, we were still getting them ready for their intended purpose. We had to clean them. We had to paint them and soundproof them and all these sorts of things to get them. So when movies came in and wanted to film, they could use them right away, okay? So in doing this, we had to allocate the portion of our loan that we felt was related, was related to, that, to that building not yet placed in service, and we capitalized that interest as part of the cost of our purchase. Our purchase, our purchase price went up every period by those interest costs. The, p the piece of the loan that we determined was related to the rest of the property that was already in use was expensed. Okay, so you have to take, the, you, the FASB takes the position. Again, you could have avoided that interest cost if you weren't getting this ready for its intended use. Okay, so that interest becomes capitalized during the period 
and things like insurance and other items related to the construction period also become uh, capitalized. Okay, because you wouldn't have incurred them if you weren't getting that, that property ready for its use. Make sense? Okay. Um, and then other things like, you know, salvage materials obviously reduce the cost of that land, which we talked about. Okay. Any questions on exercise 10-2? Any other questions besides for the things I specifically addressed? Okay. So moving along. So then, so we've got